Good morning, everyone. I am on my way to uh, see my PCP for my annual checkup. And as you guys all know, annual checkup means complete lab work that tests my A1C, my blood glucose, all of that good stuff. Um, last year, around this time when I did my uh, physical, you guys did come along with me and my A1C ended up being at 5.6, which was a shock to me because at that time, I was saying that it had been like, three months or so of having to eat out because my kitchen was out of commission because of water damage. Well, guess what, you guys? My kitchen is still not up and running. So now it has been over a year since I have been having to do takeout and eating pre-made microwavable meals. So I do not have high hopes for my A1C. I also just came back from celebrating my 10-year wedding anniversary with my husband where we went to an an all-inclusive resort where we could eat as much as we wanted all the time 24 hours a day so not um a good way to head into my annual appointment but you know what it is what it is and whatever the results are i can always come back and readjust and do better that's the point to do better okay so really quick i have my um glucometer here and i I just think it's kind of interesting and fun to check what my uh, glucometer says is my fasting glucose versus what the lab work says. Obviously, it's not going to be, you know, really comparing apples to apples because um, I still have a little bit of a drive to get to my doctor's office and, you know, it'll probably be at least... 15 minutes before they check my blood again, but I would still like to see kind of what my glucometer says my fasting is and see how close it comes to the lab work. And 96, ooh, can you see that? Yeah, 96 is what my glucometer says. And um, yeah, I'm gonna drive in to see my doctor and I'll check back in with you guys when I get my results back. So I'm waiting here to get my blood work done. I just finished meeting with my doctor. I love her so much because she's always so positive. She always reminds me it's not about perfection. There's ups and downs in life. There's times when you have to kind of do more takeout because your kitchen's not available, right? And it's about just trying to do as well as you can, as best as you can, but really being a good enough and showing yourself compassion and not judging yourself and not criticizing yourself if um, things don't go exactly as you planned. <sighs> So yeah, I'm gonna get my results by tomorrow, she said, after I do this blood work. All right, so I am about to log into my health account to check all of my test results from the lab work that I did yesterday. So I got the results, actually, I got a notification on my phone that they came in last night and it took everything in me to not run in and check because I wanted to do it with you guys this morning when I had the time to film and do all of this. So, uh here we go Jeez, louise all right i'm signing into my health account here i'm nervous i am really really nervous i'm just gonna go straight in to look at my a1c first because that's the thing that i'm most curious about oh dear god okay ready i'm clicking it Oh, 5.6, what? What, 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 what? Okay, so it was the same as last year. So even with the past year, more than a year of having to do takeout and eating out, um, somehow my A1C stayed the same. But I do want to note that even as I was eating out, I was still taking into consideration the things that I knew would be helpful for me. So pairing my uh, carbs with fat and protein, trying to eat a lot of vegetables. So the one thing that I was able to constantly cook and see, they're fixing my kitchen right now. So you can probably hear all of the construction behind me. But um, the one thing that I consist consistently did was it was easy for me to just plug in my air fryer um, and I was trying to eat vegetables even in addition to my takeout. So Brussels sprouts with uh, avocado oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder was one of my go-tos. Exact same preparation for asparagus, um, exact same preparation for green beans, um, and then also 
artichokes. So these are all frozen vegetables that I just stuck into the air fryer and prepared and tried to eat with a lot of my meals. So I think that probably helped. My uh, kitchen should be done hopefully in the next two weeks. So we're almost, almost there. Um, so crazy. Okay. So that's my A1C. And if you look at my trend here, my high was 5.9 back in 2018 after I gave birth to my first son. And this has kind of been the trajectory, 5.6, 5.6. All right, let's take a look at my uh, cholesterol, so my lipid panel to see, okay. Oh, interesting, my LDL is high my HDL is okay, triglycerides look great. Let's look at my uh, trend. Okay, so for my trend here, it spiked over here in, 20, in 2020, 2021. This is when I was trying to do like a pretty strict keto diet uh, and like dirty keto. So I was eating a lot of red meat, a lot of cheese, a lot of sour cream, uh, just not the right way to do keto. So that's probably where my cholesterol is high. Um, looking here at my LDL. So my LDL was really high right around that same time when I was doing uh, that very gross, dirty keto. And then since then, since I've been trying to take a more balanced approach, it's been coming down, trending down, which I am happy about. My HDL, cholesterol, um, I mean, the graph looks really funky, but the, the variation actually isn't that high. Uh, 92, 91, 71, 73, 88. So um, again, this is all with a normal HDL is supposed to be your good cholesterol, so I am happy about that. My triglycerides, oh, interesting. So my triglycerides were the lowest, around the lowest when I was doing the, the keto. Although no, 2021, I was going back into more of the in moderation diet approach. So, I mean, my triglycerides look great. Ooh, it was really high though in 2017. This was right before I actually got diagnosed with insulin resistance. Um, so that's really interesting. I guess after I got diagnosed with insulin resistance, I made some changes to my diet that was able to bring it back down. Um, okay, let's look at my C-peptide. Uh, C-peptide is something that could if the number is very low, could indicate LADA, which is uh, type 1.5 diabetes. I always get it checked just because, um, just in case. But let's see here. So 1.4, so that's within normal range. If you look at my results, I think there was one period of time where it was quite low, 1.1, but that was, I think, still within normal range. Um, but yeah, so looks okay there. What else do I want to look at? Okay, let's look at my comprehensive metabolic panel to see where my glucose lied. And that's just glucose at the time of the lab work, 93. Okay, and if you remember, when I plick, pricked my uh, finger with my glucometer right before my appointment, it came out at 96. And I would probably say about 45 minutes 45 minutes passed from when I pricked my finger to when they took my my blood for the labs. So 93 versus 96 is great. Okay, so I think those are the things of note. You know, I've had a lot of people make comments about my videos not being helpful because they say that, you know, I have a normal glucose response, that I'm not, you know, insulin resistant, diabetic, all of that. I am very much so insulin resistant. And as you guys have seen, you know, maybe my previous videos, if you've, if you've seen them, I've had my blood sugar go up really high to the 170s, to the 180s. I think at one point it was still at like 170 or 160 
more than two hours after I ate my meal. Um, so definitely do have metabolic dysfunction. I'm using the Very app here, which is a continuous glucose monitor plus app program that helps you track your blood sugar and give you recommendations on what uh, you can do to improve your health. And uh, if you would like to give that a try, I have my affiliate link below and it's been very helpful and it's something that I'm going to continue to use just to see if there's any new trends or things happening with my blood sugar. Um, once my kitchen is up and running again, I really am going to do more like recipe videos, things that I eat that have been really good for my blood sugar and that make me feel good. Um, I have a chia pudding recipe that is really, really delicious that I want to share with you guys as well. Um, but that's it for this video. Thanks for coming along with me as I check my A1C for another year and just make tweaks and adjustments, not drive myself crazy, not obsessed, and hope for a good outcome with my health. All right. Thank you guys for joining me today and I will see you all next time. Bye.